This is the story of the Intentionator. About a year and a half ago, during the course of my studies and research of all things metaphysical and, and spiritual, I came across a book titled Mind Machines You Can Build, written by a rocket scientist by the name of Harry Stein. A number of the devices he spoke of I was familiar with, but there were a few in particular that I was not and was particularly intrigued by. And those were the Hieronymus machine, the symbolic Hieronymus machine, and the wishing machine, which is the inspiration for the Intentionator. After reading the book, and you should read it yourself, and particularly that chapter, chapter nine on the wishing machine, it's, you know, like Harry Stein, who didn't believe it when he first heard about it and, and until he experimented with it, it was just like, you know, a fantasy to him. So I experimented and had similar results, similar successful results. It was extraordinary. Uh, res success results in the area of, of bringing balance to those who were unhealthy and bringing peace of mind to those who were uh, mentally uh, struggling and prosperity to others. So I've been writing down and documenting my experiments and I have enough successful experiments I feel to share. Whether you use the intentionator that I offer or you make your own or from somewhere else, they all work from the same principle, which is intent. Some have more dials than others. Some have more switches than others. And, and that's fine. You know, the, the person who invented that was mindful of those features and that's what went into it. But the driving force that makes the healing occur or that manifestation occur is the intent of the operator. So, in another time or other videos, I'll get into more detail on how to fine tune those intention broadcasts. But for now, this story is about the intentionator. So, I would from time to time get a, a request from a friend or family member or family member who knew of someone who was in need of healing or prosperity. And it was best not to tell the person. You would just do it anonymously. And there is a way to do it without violating anyone's free will or, or karma or what have you. And again, that's something we can discuss or I'll discuss in another uh, video. So after... 20-some, uh, maybe 30 experiments. I had a 99% success rate. Um, there was one instance where I wasn't successful in it. Um, and that's, again, another story. So what I will be doing from time to time is just posting some of the, what I call experiments, or some will call treatments, that were successful in my uh, in my experience and you can experiment for yourself and i encourage you to experiment you don't need a device to do it but some feel that 
the powers outside of themselves and in the, the device mind or any others just acts as a focal point for you to focus your and focus your intention. The intentionator or similar device will amplify your thought forms as you visualize your intentions. So I hope this video was helpful in you getting a better understanding on, on how the wish machine or the modern version, the intentionator works. Thank you and check back for more videos.